Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here. Today we're taking a look at one of the battle masters for this series. We're taking a look at Teraxodon. Now some of you out there might be wondering why I don't have another figure here standing next to him. Well, the trick is, there wasn't one. Teraxodon was not released in the Generation 1 lineup, nor was there anybody released that was even remarkably close to him. The closest that I could figure would be the character accessory called Sights that was released with the Action Master figure Jackpot. But Sights was a bird, and... Obviously, by the name, Teraxodon is intended to be a pterodactyl. So, my best guess, as I have not yet seen anything to confirm this, is that probably Teraxodon here was considered for being an Action Master partner in the Generation 1 era, but the poor sales ended up with him being scrapped. Or he could just could have been as a concept, and since the idea didn't fall through, he ended up being scrapped. I've yet to see any evidence for either of these theories, but it's the only one that really floats. As so far, the melee weapon ones that they've designed, which so far the only other one they've included is Lionizer, is also an Action Master partner in the G1 line, so that's the only one that seems, it's the only theory that seems to fit, at least until we get something else contrary to that as evidence. At any rate, what sort of articulation does Teraxodon have? Well, we can move his head, like so. We can also move his feet, like so. And we can also adjust his wings, like so. And that's, that's about it. So Teraxodon doesn't get a lot to do here. But, as a small little handheld toy, he does swoosh pretty good, so he would look kind of impressive. And even though this piece up here is intended to be the handle of his weapon form, I could easily see a lot of kids using it as a aerial cannon and pretend he's dive-bombing Decepticons. I certainly know I would have as a child. Alright, let's flip him into his alternate mode. And we'll mount him onto a transformer. And there we go. After four quick steps, Teraxodon is transformed into what they describe in the instructions as a binary edge wing scythe. But most of us are going to look at it and call it an axe. But at any rate, it's an interesting looking little weapon. And of course, as a bonus, it also comes with this energy spark. It's got three plugs here on the inside, and it's got one on the outside. So that basically you can connect it like so. Onto Teraxodon and make it look like that he is discharging some energy. For an energized attack. Then of course the one hole here on this side is meant to connect to a spot on a transformer. Sideswipe conveniently has one right there on his chest. So we can mount it right there and make it look like that Sideswipe has got himself a nasty chest wound. Which this is kind of wicked looking. I can see people setting up a diorama with these guys easily. I'd be tempted to do the same, but I really don't have the space for it. <laughs> oh well, we'll just have to let that remain as the pipe dream. 
All in all, I do kind of like Terraxodon here. It's a nice little weapon of sorts. Certainly something different, as we're all used to seeing swords and such, especially after the popularity of the lightsaber from Star Wars. And since Disney took it over, we have yet to see much, if any, other different lightsaber-type weaponry. So, it's nice to see the Transformers are at least trying to bring in something a little different. I know we're supposed to get at least one more released in the series. And I believe that one will become a giant Warhammer. So, we can either invoke Shao Kahn or Thor out of this when that one arrives. But we'll see how the end result is when it gets here. Anyway, that's my review of Terraxodon. I do hope everybody enjoyed it. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I post new content. Also, share your thoughts about Terraxodon in the comments down below. This is Sparkster1701 saying I will catch you all later.